Hello guys, it's Futon here, and we're going to be discussing today how to make an Encanto pickaxe from a dragon pickaxe. Um, I'm going to be bringing up the requirements on screen now. Uh, basically what the requirements is, a birth for the dwarves quest is not required to get the gilded pickaxe, but it is required to get the actual Encanto. So, yeah, we're just going to be going through that. Um, the next thing we required, of course, the dragon pickaxe itself. We need red berry pie, 1 million GP, and we need the water surge spell. So you need to be on normals for this. Um, a magic weapon as well is required. Um, this is for the geyser portion. So recommended as high as possible mining. This is not, this is based off of how much you actually do mine here. Um, so crystal pickaxe or the least honed for furnace is not a big deal here. It doesn't really matter. You just want the accuracy on the uh, mining. Uh, so as well, the wallet, the goal of familiars, magical and outfit, and the new crates of the elves is very useful. So we're going to start out by teleporting to the lava floor mine, which is accessed at the end of the king of the doors quest. So you can... You have the king of the doors, you can get the gilded pickaxe, but you cannot get the encando if you complete birthright. Just as a note. So, right here, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys why the grace of the elves. So, I'm just going to go down here in the max garden. And wonder why... Uh, okay. Okay, well. Good old-fashioned bug. Okay, well, I guess they're going to have a nice little bug report. Anyway, bubble for mine. I thought I said it. So... Maxfield Garden, the Lava Flow Mine. Now, to get the Gildu pickaxe is very simple. Unfortunately, though, it requires a lot of RNG. All you do is go here and literally mine. It doesn't matter which one of these you actually hit. So I'm going to summon a Lava Familiar and just mine. So, as you see, I don't get XP drops here. It's a little hard to tell. Saren Spirit of the Period. Oh, cool. A blue path. Alright, cool. Whatever. Um, but every time you get it, um, a mining XP drop, you have a 1, and I believe, let me triple check this, you have a 1 in 846 chance of getting the Golden Nymph to appear. I'll be including the uh, Nymph information in the description, but with that in mind, it's a, um, you have to get, before you can go to pickaxe, you have to get the full entire Golden Mining Outfit. And you get all of the outfit pieces in order by boots, gloves, helmet, trousers, and then top. And then once you have all five pieces, then the Golden Nymph will gild your pickaxe. And once you get a gilded pickaxe, the process changes entirely. But this is literally what you're going to be sitting here in AFKing until you have the pickaxe. So this could end up taking you a couple dozen hours. It took me about a hundred. But originally the rates were a lot worse than what they are now, so at least you guys have that better off than what I did. So, alright, so let's assume that you have the Dragon Pickaxe. Now, the next part is actually quite confusing. You need your draw distance to be an absolute top. So, I highly suggest you turn your PM off because it is a douchebag move. Let me turn mine off. Alright. But now we're going to be world hopping, and now you want to equip your Staff of Silisca, well, not Staff of Silisca, your Staff, doesn't really matter what, auto-cast your highest water spell. I highly suggest water spirits because damage actually doesn't matter for this. So, literally, we are going to be world hopping until we find um, a Lava Geyser. Now, this could take a few minutes, hopefully it doesn't, and I get lucky. Or literally, you just run up and down to make sure you're in draw distance. And you're looking for a lava geyser. No, you can find lava geysers as you're doing the outfit, and you could pre collect the encando pieces. So it's not actually that you need to do this at the end, you can do this as you go. So, but as you know, I have to make a second encando pick anyway, so I'm not too against doing another one because I'm going to have both two. Pick out um, for the new um, sniffing rework. And this is also required for rune score now. So, yeah. Highly suggested if you want your rune score to go and do this, but it could take it some time. At least they give a healthy chunk of um, rune score for it, unlike most things that are actually difficult and RNG dependent. Um, no, we're not having any luck. 
Okay. And no, this is also, um, if you're curious as well, if you can get an alt or something like that, hopping around worlds while you find the geyser, the geysers themselves, while you're doing them, is effectively 400k per hour in mining. So, just a fun fact that this place is actually really good mining, but it is a really a high effort, and that's why a lot of people do not do it. But yeah, I would be doing this normally on an ult or whatever, but this is kind of the methodology for it. Uh, broken boiler, which means, oh yeah, there could only be one event, so if there's a broken boiler, like, just hop. You can't get two. So, alright. I'll actually, you know what? I'll be back. I, yeah, I want to do want to do this kind of one video. Do 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 just to show how long this can take. It's pretty unusual. I normally find one within five or six board hops. Hopefully we don't hit the hop limit before we find a geyser. Geyser, geyser, geyser. Come on, give me a geyser. Alright, any lock? Geyser, geyser. Alright, any luck at all? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Um, okay. You also want to keep Y on your check because one could pop up just as you tally away. Come on, give me a guy's here. Boiler. Uh, pretty sure you can get nothing else. The boiler is broken. But, okay, come on, give me a guy's here. And no, you're going to need four geysers as just as a note. So and I don't know the draw distance on the geysers, so hopefully it, you can see all of it. NXT snow, do not go to Legacy World. NXT normally is what you also need to do with this. This is not advisable in Java. It is a lot slower because you do not have the draw distance. Alright, that is fine. Damn. Looks like we're not going to get this. Alright, I'm going to pause this and then I will restart the video whenever I find a guy here. Alright, here we go. Now we found a lot of guys in here. So basically this is just going to... It has 30,000 LP. So... I want to tap the geyser. And it can only be damaged by water spells. And this is why I highly suggested the people to um, bring water spell with a staff. It's actually the only way to damage it. So we'll just go with this, finish it off. And this, yep. Boom, boom, done. And once you finish it here, the lava, just mine it. You can equip your augmented pick if you want. But you get 500 uh, per whack you see here per hit. You're getting 530 XP per hit. So it's a good chunk. But you literally sit here and mine it. And as long as you get at least one whack on it, you will get the experience for it. So, or the pickaxe part. But yeah. Basically just mine this out. Hopefully it doesn't take too, too long. Okay, there we go. Ancient pickaxe piece falls in the lava. You'll get the pickaxe pieces of from order of 1 to 4. So, I will pause the video again, and I will see you guys when I have all four pickaxes. Or pickaxe parts, sorry. Okay. I made a comment where I, um, I said the boiler and the geysers can't be in the same world. Well, I had a gut feeling that I was wrong. At least this is what people were telling me. And I'm glad we're wrong. So even if there's a broken boiler, just go up and down here. And this is the last one anyway, so we're going to go ahead and complete this. And then I'm going to go buy a red berry pie. And then I'm going to show you guys how to do the uh, 
to actually make the Encanto pickaxe. I have a Gilded pickaxe on my bank, so I'll have to go grab that as well. But boom, either. Yeah, this is the fourth one. This took me hopping from world 1 to 74. Every single world. Besides the uh, legacy world. So this does take some time to do, unfortunately. Let's do the last pickaxe part. Now, I don't know if I can have two Encanto pickaxes at once. So we will see here. Mmm, come on. This takes a little bit longer than I like. But then again, you get, I don't know, I think you get like 10k XP per geyser you mine or something like that. So, I mean, it's not bad at all. Alright, so all four Encanto pickaxe parts. Lovely. So I'll put back out. Uh, dragon. So you need a gilded pickaxe right here. And um, one mil coins and a red berry pie. So I'll just buy a red berry pie. Don't even care. These are dumb that they're a thing. They unlock the doors to Vanaris. Vanaris to Mud Skipper Point. Simple fairy ring. It honestly is the fastest way here. And just run up the killer road. And let's see if uh he'll give me what I want. Please do. Alright, now let's go through. Yep, I have those things with me. Works, boom. Spread out the black. And now I have it a second. Again, the pickaxe, which you need two. Well, I need two. You only need one because you could put um, a rune pick, elder rune plus five. But yeah, right here, two for me. Two Kando pickaxes. Oh, yep. So that's really all you do to make it. It's plain and simple. So thank you guys for watching. Um, and I will see you guys for the next video.